classic covers are all the rage on this week's Hot 10 Comics of the Week breakdown. Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Lawrence, over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles, and this is the Hot 10 Comics of the Week breakdown. Now, if you're not familiar with this video, I take the 10 hottest comics according to the Key Collector app, and I break them down for you guys, letting you know which books I'm buying at which prices and which I'm staying away from. But before we get started in the video, like every video I ask you guys, if you're not a current sub of the channel, do yourself a favor, hit that sub button, you won't regret it, smash the like button for me, and let's get into this week's breakdown. Starting off the list at number 10 this week is some DC goodness. It is a copy of New Teen Titans number 2 and the first appearance of Deathstroke the Terminator. And last week we had a CGC 9.6 selling for $260 but only up 4% over the average. Then we had a CGC 9.4 sale of $200 up a crazy 14% over the average. I'm finally happy to see some of these great DC keys finally appearing on this list. I am a fan of this key and I'm not going to ever tell you never to buy a book if it's $200 or less, especially in super high grade. If you could get this one or 9.8 for a good deal, that's what I'll be buying. Other than that, just own the copy that you want to own in your collection for the long term, but I am giving this one a thumbs up. At the ninth spot this week is a classic cover and a first appearance. It is a copy of Amazing Spider-Man number 300 and the first full appearance of Venom. And last week, we had a CGC 9.2 selling for $575, up 7% over the average. Then we had a CGC 9.0 sale for $541, up another 12% over the average. You guys know I love classic covers and I love first appearances, but I gotta tell you this, there are so many copies of this book out there, you have no idea. Even so, CGC calls this their most graded comic book. With that said, I still want to own this book, and you could find it for a deal because there are so many copies out there. I prefer a 9.2 or better, signed by Todd McFarlane. That is just my preference, but either way, I'm giving this book a thumbs up. Back on the list at number 8 this week is a copy of Superman number 233 and this classic cover by Neil Adams. I'm so happy to also see we're finally getting some Superman books appear on this list and this to me is one of the better ones at least when we're talking about covers that are not from the golden age. And last week we had a CGC 9.0 selling for a whopping $874 up 27% over the average. Then we had a CGC 6.0 sale of $225, up 38% over the average. Man, this book is starting to heat up, especially with the new Superman movie coming next summer. With that said, is now the right time to go ahead and buy this book. I've always wanted to own a copy of this book, but I always thought it was too expensive. Now it's just out of control. I'd probably wait till after the movie comes out. If it's great, the bounce may be sustainable. If not, it's going to come back right down to where it was a couple of months ago. Back on the list at number seven this week is a copy of the Joker number one and the first solo title Joker series. And last week with a CGC 9.8 selling for a crazy $1,660, up 17% over that average. Then we had a CGC 9.0 sale for $250, but get this, up a whopping 40% over the average. That to me is absolutely mind boggling. I know the Joker 2 just came out. I'm hearing some not great reviews. I want to hear from you out there in the community. Did you enjoy the movie if you saw it or did you not? With that said, I'm not spending $250 on a 9.0 and I'm certainly not spending almost $2,000 on a 9.8. I always tell this story. I found this book about a couple of years back for around $5 at my LCS. So yes, I'm staying away from this one. You can get a better deal. Coming in at number six this week is a copy of Incredible Hulk number 340 in this iconic cover by Todd McFarlane. And last week, we had again another CGC 9.8 selling for $1,300, up a crazy 27% over the average. Then we had a CGC 8.5 sale for $200 up 18% over the average. When we're talking about this book, I'm going to tell you here right now that you can get a better deal on this one in high grade if you buy it raw. So to me, I would not go ahead and buy a CGC copy of this one only because you're paying a premium just to own it. I would suggest a 9.0 or higher just for your collection. Other than that, I'm looking for the best deal I could possibly get in order to own this book. At the five spot this week is a copy of The Century number one and the first appearance of The Century. Of course, we do have confirmation that The Century will appear in the new Thunderbolts film that comes out next summer. And last week, we had a CGC 
9.8, selling for $375, but up 36% over the average. Let me tell you guys something. If you're buying comics with the news that we're going to have a character show up in a movie or because of a trailer or something along those lines, you have already missed the boat. You should have purchased this book about four years ago when there was no news on that character, when you had the inkling that this is the way the MCU might go. I'm staying away from this book. I don't like buying modern books when they're up in crazy percentages like this. So for me, I'm definitely staying away from this one. Happy to see this book back at number four this week. It is a copy of Moon Knight number one and the first ongoing Moon Knight titled series. And last week we had a CGC 9.8 selling for $336 up 21% over the average. Now I don't know about you guys. I do consider this book a classic cover. I've always loved this cover, but believe it or not, if you're going to buy a 9.8 and spend roughly around $350, you can double that and go ahead and get the true first appearance of Moon Knight in comics, World by Night number 32 in mid to lower grade. I know I always tell you guys that I'd rather buy these Bronze Age first appearance in higher grade and I'm sticking to that. But when it comes to this, guys, I just want to own the first appearance. I'd rather own that book than this one. So that's where I'm always going to be putting my money. Swinging into the three spot this week is a copy of Amazing Spider-Man number 252 and the first appearance of the black symbiote costume in the Amazing Spider-Man title. I also consider this book to be a classic cover, homage to death, of course, homage through Amazing Fantasy 15 as well. And last week we had a CGC 9.6 selling for $380 of 5% over the average. Then we had a CGC 9.4 sale of only $280 up 10% over the average. I will say this, I definitely want to own this book. It is a must own for any Amazing Spider-Man collector. With that said, a 9.8 of this book runs roughly around $1,200 to $1,300. So a 9.6 for this amount is not too bad in my opinion. Hell, maybe you could press that shit, get it to a 9.8 so I could understand the value there. With that said, it's up to you if you'd rather buy a raw copy for around $150 to $200 or buy a 9.4. Either way, it's a must own book in my opinion and I'm okay with these prices in these grades. Back at number two this week is a copy of Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars number eight and the origin of the black symbiote costume. And last week we had a CGC 9.8 selling for only $550 up 10% over the average. So let's track this one, right? It went from 550 to 600 to 650 back down to 550. I always say if you want to spend 500 or less on a 9.8, I'd be all for it. Other than that, I'm just trying to find the nicest copy I can for my personal collection. I don't want to break the bank in this book a lot of copies out there but either way a must own for any venom or spider-man fan finally at the top spot again what could it possibly be for the fourth week in a row it is a copy of venom number three and the first appearance of null the creator of the alien symbiote race and last week we had a cgc 9.8 selling for 270 dollars up 27 percent over the average. So let's track this one again, okay? A couple of weeks back, we got a sale of $350, and last week, $320. Now we're down to 270 bucks. But I just saw this book listed in a 9.8 during Elite Comics 11 Atcon for only $199. To me, that's right around what I wanna pay for this book in a 9.8, around 200 bucks. I would've jumped at that copy. Other than that, guys, I'm still staying away from this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this list. Again, I love all the books on this list this week. A lot of great smaller keys, a lot of copper, a few modern, all books, like I just said, that I would love to have in my collection. But not all of these books are created equal, unfortunately. It is now time for my best buy of the week. And I got to say, this is a hard choice. You have ASM 300, ASM 252, New Teen Titans number two, all great books I think should be owned right now. But with that said, I'm going to give some DC love right here. I'm going with New Teen Titans number two for 200 bucks or less. You could probably buy a 9.6 or a 9.4 for a character that probably is going to be used eventually down the line in the DCEU. That's something I'm willing to take a chance on. Instead of spending 500 plus on an Amazing Spider-Man 300 when we already know there's a million copies out there. Same for the 252, even though I love all of those books. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics Collectibles saying thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys next week.